I've been thinking about the double clutch life, about the double clutch life I'm living. I've been thinking about the double clutch life, about the double clutch life I'm living. The rain and snow, the hot and cold, the catnap skills of black and gold. Every day I color my book. Shame on you, Minnesota D.O.T. In 2010, OIDA sued the Minnesota DOT for making up their own rules on what makes a driver fatigued. If you got stopped at one of their scales, you would be pulled in, taken to a back room. They would interview you like the Gestapo did back in World War II as to whether or not you were fatigued and the way that they did this, they made up this checklist of things that they thought would make you fatigued as a driver. For instance, if your bed was too made up nice, then uh, you were probably fatigued because you didn't get enough sleep. Uh, one of the things on their list was if you had magazines or dirty magazines in the back of your truck, you were probably fatigued. Oh man, uh... This magazine's dirty. Whew. Another thing was if your trash was overflowing and you had too many candy wrappers in your truck or just trash in general, you were for fatigued. Shame on you, Minnesota DOT. You know why? Because you lost the lawsuit. That's right. OIDA sued you in 2010 and won. You made up the list for nothing. We weren't fatigued because we had those things in our truck. We were fatigued sometimes because we were tired, not because we had too much trash in our truck. I'm Indiana Jack. I am so fatigued.